Hey guys, your Marta Geek. In this video, I just wanted to share a little bit of the hands-on at the PlayStation 5 remote play here being played on the Z Fold 3, which I'm going to be using for remote play on the PlayStation 5 because this weekend I'm going to be, or next week, I'm going to be traveling away from home. But there's a specific game I want to keep on playing. And I was like, wait a second, you know, remote play. And I haven't tried it yet on the PlayStation 5. Remember, um, the this at the beginning was not compatible with the remote play. Uh, but then there was an update, I think it was like months ago, that made the DualSense compatible with remote play. And I never did try it out. So here, I'm going to be trying it out with the PlayStation you know, remote play application for Android. And keep in mind, to get the best experience as possible, I've been doing remote play for a long time. Uh, you should always keep your PlayStation 5 at home, connected to the internet using wired cable not wi-fi using wired cable that is going to give you the best connection for streaming wired connection to the internet that for me is the best way to get the better experience also on your device when you're connected to your device if you have if you could connect to a, a 5g you know 5 gigahertz that would be better than 2.4 gigahertz also, if you're using 5G, keep in mind this does spend a lot of data, but I have unlimited data. Do not turn off your console before you leave home. Leave it on standby or rest mode, because if you turn it off completely, when you try to connect remote play, it's not going to connect. It's not going to turn on the console because it's completely off. So make sure you actually leave it in rest mode and wired connected to the internet, to the router or to the modem, whatever, okay? I'm gonna be using the DualSense controller. Uh, just make sure to to pair it to the device, to the phone that you're gonna be using. Uh, the easiest way to pair this is pressing and holding the share button and the PlayStation button until these lights here on the side start blinking like you see here on the picture or on the video uh, you just press and hold uh, take it takes like almost like 20 seconds once they start flashing that means that your controller is in parry mode and all you got to do is go on your phone scan scan devices and look for the wired controller or wireless controller and that's it connected and once it starts stops blinking that means that's connected properly to your controller of course you have another options in the application um uh, right now i am using i don't know if you guys are going to see it here on the video it's too far but if i change it, it's going to mess up the camera uh, right now i'm using 720 720p and standard frame rate you can use it high frame rate if you want but that's going to take more internet power okay but right now i'm just going to leave it on standard um here resolution right now uh, the max that we have here is 720p i'm surprised because because for me it could have been you know 1080p right we're using the playstation 5 and that's it mobile data uh, right now, video quality for streaming, I'm using standard, but you could go all the way to best, that, but that's going to be like 6.8 gigabytes per hour, and I don't know, you know, I'm just going to go standard for now, because I want to test make sure the connection is nice and stable. Click right there to connect. Remember, if the console is in, there you go, look at that, it turned on really fast. So if your console is in rest mode, it's going to turn it on. And like you see here, we are connected to the console itself. Awesome. Uh, so here, the game that I'm going to be playing right now, and I'm very hooked to it, is WWE 2K22. Um, here with the new, the application, there's a couple things you could do here. For example, you could click right here. You could disconnect from all this. Uh, you can also always show controller. If you click that. It will always show the controller on the screen, but that is very annoying. Um, and that's it. Other things here you could do is, you know, you got the the home button right there. The, the, as the console, the sharing button, and all that. But all that you have it here, so you don't need to be touching that. So just let's go ahead here and turn. Oh, oh nope. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead here and play one match here, one on one. Oh, you know what? Yeah, one on one. I'm gonna do a, a a steel cage match. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this guy. AJ Styles. 
start. Like you see there, it's going pretty good, pretty nice and smooth. Look at that. Awesome. There you go. Well, you know what? I forgot to turn off the entrance. But look at that. That looks pretty damn good. Nice and smooth. Of course, um, a lot of times you get the transmission or the streaming is not going to be perfect. Uh, when you get the little globe over here popping on the side, that means that your internet is failing. And you might be disconnected. But right now we haven't seen that. I was seeing it before. I was playing the Horizon and I was seeing it. But right now, I'm going to skip that. We're in the cage here. I'm playing Rick. I'm playing as Ricochet versus AJ Styles. And man, I used to play a lot of remote play with the PlayStation Vita, but the PlayStation Vita kind of sucks. They they didn't make the Vita compatible with the PlayStation Five for remote play, which I don't get it. You know, it's their mobile device. Is their mobile device and they didn't they didn't update the Vita so it can be so you can do to remote play on the on PlayStation 5 which makes no sense it makes no sense because it's you know it's Sony's mobile device and it still works the PlayStation Vita you can still do remote play what we're doing here with the PlayStation 4 you can still do that but for some reason they just I don't know they just quit supporting the Vita completely, bro. Completely. Look at that. So far, nice and smooth. Like I said, I, I my PlayStation 5 is connected to, to the internet via... Whoop. No, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, this game has me hooked for real. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! <laughs> no, no. Oof. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. That's how it works. Works pretty good. Like you see, so far we haven't seen the 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 logo that that tells you that the internet is going bad. I hope I actually get this same experience where I'm gonna be at. Um, and keep in mind, you could be in a different state, and it's still gonna work because it's connecting to the internet. Um, that's why you need a good connection. As the better connection, the better. Oh, crap. I feel that. So, of course, let me go ahead and turn it off here for a second. Uh, we go back to over here at home. Uh, we can mess with other games. The good thing is make sure you also have a lot of games installed. Because remember, you won't be able to change games, physical games, because, hello, you're not at home. So just make sure you actually have a lot of digital games that you could go to and play some. Uh, like for example, this demo just came out um, yesterday, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. And it's really good. The, the save file will actually transfer to the full game if you get it. And it's really, really, really good. I tried it and so far I've been liking it. Uh, like of course, hello Astro Playroom. A still Prague Room is one of the games that looks incredible on the PlayStation 5. And 
it is an awesome game. It's one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 5. Even though it's like a demo, but it has uh, it has like eight awesome levels that you could go to different worlds. And it is it is very, very good. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. CPU jungle. Let's go there. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah look at that so far looking great it's a very you know remote play feature it's very very convenient especially where you're not home and you want to play keep playing a game that you're hooked to it oh no we died <laughs> So cool. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about PlayStation Remote Play. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been doing uh, Remote Play for a long time. I have a whole bunch of videos um with my playstation beta and uh, playstation 4 doing remote play and those were good times but right now like i said the playstation beta is not compatible with the playstation 5 which honestly i don't know why you know i don't know why because um if you can use any phone right if you can use any phone as the screen of uh woohoo there you go as the screen for you know remote play on the PlayStation 5 why not use you know the the PlayStation Vita screen which is it's better because it has the you know it has the controls it has the triggers you know you have you got everything you don't need to create you know a woohoo <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. That's so cool. So, yeah, make sure you, if you're going on a trip, make sure you have a lot of digital games. That way, oh, no. That way, um, you can switch between games because, and just keep your favorite, your favorite physical game in the drive because you won't be able to change it. <laughs> which for me is going to be um for me is going to be WWE 2K 2K22 look at that awesome <laughs> that's so cool that is so cool so like that look at that <laughs> that's awesome well guys that's it for this video thanks for watching now keep in mind, if you want to disconnect completely, don't turn off the console from here, okay? Don't turn it off. Just click right here, click disconnect, and right here it says, put the con connected console in rest mode. Make sure you check on it, because if you don't, it, the console at home is gonna stay on. But this will properly put it in rest mode. You click okay, and it's gonna put the console in rest mode, not off, rest mode that way whenever you want you can just connect again to the playstation and that's it so we are done thanks for watching this video till next time bye bye